I'm Sydney Sweeney and I play Cecilia. Cecilia is a nun searching for purpose in her life, searching for the reason and meaning to why her life was saved. It's been a passion project of mine since I was 16. So I actually auditioned for this movie when I was 16 years old and I fell in love with it. And I, <laughs> every single year I would check to see if they ever made it and no one ever did. And when I was on the set of Handmaid's Tale, I remember I was sitting there watching the beautiful cinematography and it clicked with me. I was like, I know how to shoot this movie. And I emailed my team and I said, find me Immaculate. I want to make my own version of it. And so got in contact with Andrew, our writer. And when I was filming White Lotus, I told Dave I have this, more, this horror movie and let's put it together. And so that's kind of how it all came about. It's literally been like nine years that I've been trying to make this movie. I love juggling the two roles as an actor and a producer. It's kind of been my dream since I was little. I love building worlds and I was doing it just for a character and so being able to do this for the entire movie and all the different characters and being a part of the set designing and the shots and the frames and scheduling and just creating and figuring out all the logistics. Uh, I, I'm really, really enjoying it. I feel like I'm learning so much. I was drawn to it because it's such a conversation piece. I grew up loving horror. I would watch it with my dad since I was little, and I always wanted to do something that is in the genre that he loves. And so I felt like this was the perfect movie that I've been passionate about for so long to be able to start my, my company with. It, uh, I think that they have no idea what they're in store for. I don't think that they realize the type of roller coaster they're about to go on. I am loving the horror genre. I've been a huge fan for such a long time. So being able to finally dive into it, I love the gore, the blood, the screaming, the crying, but also we have such amazing characters within the story. And that was something that was really important to me that I wanted to make sure that, yes, you give the horror fans everything they love, but there's also a core and a meaning and love and characters in the middle of it. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely a badass fight scene in the bathtub between two girls that you don't know how it's going to end. Uh, Cecilia turns into quite an avenging angel towards the end and starts just going on a murder spree, which I love. I remember when we were going through and recreating how that whole uh, process was going to happen. I was like, by the end of the movie, as long as I am just drenched in blood like Carrie, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm like, no matter how I get there, get me there. <laughs>